select the molecule that best correlates with the following carbon-13 NMR spectrum. So we have four different possible molecules. We don't have a chemical formula, um, but we do have a carbon-13. Um, so when I look at this, I would kind of mentally divide up the regions on the carbon-13. So if I had a carbonyl, I would expect it to be on this high end. If I had a double bond, I would expect it to be in this region. And I see that both of those regions are empty. Um, so I would cross that out because I don't see any aromatic carbons. And if you're looking at the table in your book, that'll tell you that they show up around in the range of 110 to 170 um, ppm. So ppm is always that scale, parts per million, that scale on the bottom. Um, and you don't see anything in the carbonyl region either. So we don't see a carbonyl, and this is a ketone, and specifically that ketone carbonyl, you would expect it to, to see it around 205 to 220. So really far down on that spectrum, we don't see that. So it's definitely not this one. Okay, so to look between options A and D, they're kind of similar in the types of carbons that they have. You've got SP3 hybridized carbons, um, and you've also got the carbons, and that SP3 range is always down here. This is your range for SP3 carbons, is down on this part of the spectrum. Um, so your alkane carbons are usually lower, they're more shielded. This number at 62, so that's in the range of where you would expect to see a carbon that is attached to oxygen. So you would expect to see that somewhere between like 50 to 90 ppm. Okay, so that tells us we have a carbon attached to oxygen. Okay, well both A and D have that. So we have a carbon attached to oxygen here and we have a carbon attached to oxygen on either side. Um, so one other thing we can use to distinguish these would be the number of signals. So we should notice um, that we have no symmetry here in A. So we'd expect one, two, three, four different signals. And that looks consistent with what we are seeing in our spectrum. And if you look at D, there is a plane of symmetry down the center, which means both sides of this will be the same. So those two carbons would be the same, these two, and then finally these N two. So for D, I would expect to see only three signals. Okay, so the types of carbons that we saw allowed us to quickly eliminate a couple of our options, and then the number of signals allows us to say that this um, matches a lot better with A, so that should be the one that we select.